Good evening, cricket lovers. Welcome to the Fan Code Emirates D10 2024, powered by Seven Districts. We are in for a cracker of a contest where Team Abu Dhabi will be taking on Team Fujira. Starts off with the full toss. Very, very loose delivery. Mayank Chaudhary can't ask for a better delivery to get Baron ball and get off the mark with the boundary. Oh, looking to pick that up over the leg side and the finger has been raised. Well, Mayank was looking for the ball when Zia was asking for the wicket and Zia's got his wish. That's going on to hit the stumps. I was trying to play across the line that was quicker and right on the money. It would have definitely hit the leg stump. He took a bit of time there, Empire, but in the end, the right decision was made. And Mayank will have to depart. Oh, beautiful. Tanish Suri has played a fine shot here. Time, but once he gets settled in... He finds the groove. Yet again, short page and clears the inner circle. The fielder was not at the edge of the circle. Had he been there, that would have been wicket number two. Goes big and goes handsome in the slot and deposited in the stands. You can lose concentration, but he's certainly up and awake. Slower delivery, but how far has this gone? Very, very far. Tanish Suri is showing us that he's got two sides to his game. Especially when you have Mohamed Wasim in the team. An outside edge. Everything going Tanish Suri way. In the slip cordon and away from the slip fielder. Ram short and that will be a boundary. After those dot deliveries on the trot for Abdullah. Left arm pace. Can you bring the ball back into the right hand? Nicely picked up, once again away from the fielder and this will run away to the boundary as well. It is quite good to watch. Short, pulled away, how far has this gone? Not far enough. Tanish Suri, he takes the bite. Short one from Uzair Khan, the deep square leg fielder was in position. Half pitcher into the ribs area and a wonderful catch there by, I reckon that was Abdullah Kayani there in the deep. And that will be the departure for Tanishuri. What a wonderful knock he's played. He's laid the foundation for Team Fujira and will have to depart after scoring 34 of 13, two maximums and four boundaries in his tally, striking at 261. That's how you prize out those wickets. Mind you, these are very good conditions to bat. Adeb Usmani picks this up very nicely, effortless, over long on. Given the conditions, I don't think that's going to be enough for Fujera. This one, though, has gone over the third man fielder for a boundary. And play shots like that, although it might not always go in your favour. This one should land safely. Three fielders converging and none of them are able to stop the boundary. What's more important is that it's four runs. And again, in the air, this is going to hand. Taken. Well taken. Good catch. These are difficult to take when you're running backwards. Yeah, slowed down from Uzair. This is where he does so well. They made room for himself. Had to really stretch to play that shot. Didn't get the middle of the bat. And yes, who else but that man, Basil Hamid. One of the finest, if not the finest in the UAE. Adib Usmani looking to accelerate. Has to walk back to the pavilion. Made 15 runs of 10. Spot on. Who else better than Samir to point that out from Sri Lanka? That's played well. It was a low full toss. Those are difficult to hit. It's gone to the boundary for another four. Good over this. Sometimes this is big. I'll continue with my thought in just a little bit. But my thoughts are haywire right now because that has been hammered to the boundary for a six. Just couldn't. This is up in the air. He hasn't timed it. Or has he? Yes, he has. That was some power from Ashwant Waltapa down on one knee. 25 runs from here on. It will be a good target. But they can get even more if they keep hitting like this. Or it has gone straight to hand. I thought it was very, very straight. It's Basil Hamid again. You just cannot discount Basil Hamid from the game. So what if he went for runs? 
Rohan Mustafa to bowl the ninth over. A full toss. Ashwan Twaltapa thought he had the runs written on his name. But Basil Hamid says, hold on. Get past me if you can. A running catch beautifully taken. And a wicket to break the momentum here for Jera. Ashwan Twaltapa walks away making 11 runs of seven balls. Just a one-sixer of his bat. I think Abu Dhabi is one of the best batting units. That's nicely hit. Up and over. It is going in the gap. It's going to roll away. Much required for. It's hit hard. There you go. Into the slot. And it goes the distance. Even further, in fact. And in this format, Fazan, momentum is very, very important. And with that six, just slightly that momentum going towards Fujera. However, they will know very well that 1-1-2 one, one, is something they'll have to pull really well to defend. First ball coming up then. Kalishan on strike. That's a good delivery. Slower in the air on the stumps. What did you just... Right then, Ashwant. Just given away four. Goes big downtown. And that will be the first maximum for Alishan Sharfu. This country possesses Rashid. Oh, absolutely. This time he's gone over extra cover. One bounce and off she goes into the boundary rope. Four. One more delivery to go in the over. Short delivery. That's been played and that's played well. That'll go all the way, I think. We'll have to wait for the umpire signal. Yes. Amatullah will have different plans. That's a good delivery and equally well played. That's a phenomenal shot by Rohan Mustafa. Wasn't a bad delivery, but look at how well he's played straight down the ground. Oh, up in the air. Is it a chance? There are, there's a fielder settling and takes it. Azharuddin Qureshi with the catch. Excellent comeback delivery by Matiullah. Gets his man, Rohan Mustafa, back in the hatch. Manages to hold on to it this time. Rohan Mustafa trying to go over the extra cover region. Didn't quite find the middle of the bat and straight into the hands of Azaruddin Qureshi. He departs after scoring seven of three deliveries and they've got that first breakthrough much needed for Team Fujera. Abu Dhabi are 25 for one. Oh, goes for a length delivery. That's gone miles up in the air. Opportunity. Fielder settling and takes it. Double strike in the over. Wahab Hassan is a brilliant fielder. And takes Alishan Sharifu. Both the openers back in the hatch. In his first over, getting the whole wicket of Rohan Mustafa. And this time around, it is Alishan Sharifu trying to go big over the extra cover region. Didn't find the connection right. And Wahab, what a wonderful catch that is. Alishan Sharifu will be disappointed. He, get, he did get those runs required in the power play. He departs after scoring 17 off six. Sabir Rao into his first over. Outside off stomp. That's been cut and cut really well behind point. That'll run away towards the boundary. That's a superb shot. Phenomenal shot and that's a no ball. Sabir Rao. Change of angle has been helped on its way. And that'll go. I think it's gone all the way for a maximum. Excellent hit. Oh, has he got something? I think he has. That's a wonderful catch. Sabir Rao finally on the last delivery gets a wicket. Thanks the heavens for getting that wicket. Finally gets some redemption after a long, long, long over Sabir Ali. And he thanks the Almighty and a good catch by Adib Usmani in the end to get the prize scalp of Kamran. Well, that will be the end of over number three. And Kamran Atta departs after scoring 12 of eight deliveries. And Abu Dhabi are 46 for three. Ali and Nadim, they need to get some runs for their team. And in this format, you can't afford to take too much time. He's gone up once again. This time, though, it's straight to the fielder. But, 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 Mayank Chaudhary. Well, hold on. Is there redemption there? Is there some redemption? He's dropped the catch. And I think he's got him. Ali Abed. Well, well. It's a run out. And the skipper will have to walk back. Fourth wicket down for them. Not good signs for Abu Dhabi. A real trouble for the men in yellow. Good games that we've been starved of. Big shot from Nadim. Don't think he's middled it. Feel the getting under it. And this time the catch is taken. So the wickets keep tumbling for Abu Dhabi. When miles up in the air. Good change of pace from Azuruddin Qureshi. Bowl is slower in the air. Enticed him to go for that shot. And uh, didn't get it from the middle of the bat. The bad form 
continues for him. What a wonderful catch by Sanchez Sharma. And another one bites the dust. Six of eight for Mohamed Nadeem. Five wickets down, half the side, back in the hutch, 52 on the board. This already is a very good contest. He's gone for the sweep shot. That's up in the air. Chance, and that's been taken. Another one bites the dust for uh, Abu Dhabi. Basil Hamid, he can't contribute too much in the game. Couple of wickets in his first over. The batters have looked to go after him. And something tells me, Rashid, that this wicket is slowing down. This is the fifth shot we've seen in the last couple of overs that the batters just haven't connected. If Basil Hamid can't connect well, then there's something seriously wrong. Six wickets down now, Abu Dhabi. A 53 for 6. Basil goes for a duck. This has been picked up. Over long off. The fielder was up in the circle. So he took the risk and it paid off. And six wickets down. Still two batters that are very capable out there. So certainly a task at hand. All is not done for Fujera, But they continue to do the good work in the pitch. And the fielder has been found. Yeah, it was a short delivery and opportunity was created. Just couldn't get that elevation and he's hit that straight into the throat of the fielder. Well, he's not going to drop that. A very safe fielder. Abu Dhabi in disarray. Seven down now. Ozeir Khan scoring eight in five deliveries with one maximum. Pulled away. That's in the gap. That should run away to the boundary. So finally, breaking the shackles. Abdullah Kayani. Kureshi leading the side today. Oh, this has taken the edge. Might go straight to the fielder. Go straight to the fielder. And Abdullah Khayan is slimmer of hope with that boundary that he can maybe get his team over the line. Has been completely dashed with that catch. Well, this is some very smart bowling. And this is where the experience comes into play. He saw the batter just shuffling across. He flighted that delivery and couldn't get any connection whatsoever. The process has lost his wicket. Taken a couple of brilliant catches in the field. Once again, this might just go to the hands. Oh, an effort, a one-handed effort by the fielder down at long on. Didn't make the best of connections. Oh, there you go. He's bowled him. Nice and straight, looking to cut that away. I think there's a doubt here in the umpire's mind if that has been pulled or not. Let's see, has it hit the Strum's wicket straight or... Yeah, there you go. He's bowled. Kasim won't survive too long. Hit the nice-looking shot, but after that... He's been bowled by Wahab Hassan. It was Rohan and Ali Shan. Oh, look at that. Just drifting towards the pads. Not a very good ball by Matiullah and very unlike him. Leading this side in the absence of Zahur Khan. Oh, this has gone up. This has gone really high. The keeper can watch it sail into the fine leg boundary. For a moment, I thought it was getting under him, but the edge. Oh, he's knocked him over. It was full. It was straight. And he's won this game for his side. Well, Zia, he advertised yesterday in the papers that I'm going to play that shot. And Sabir read those newspapers this morning and said, I'm going to hit the stumps. He gets another wicket to his name. And Abu Dhabi are all out for just 93 runs. A dominant performance from Fujera. They made 112 runs with the bat. A good performance, but they're bowling and they're fielding, more importantly, the catching was fantastic. <laughs>